working on me, my career, whatever, you know. And I've come so far from the last time I was on it, you know. And so, um, but something fell off. Like, I was not getting good outcomes on the app in general. Like, you know, um, he was my best bet, so I decided to go meet up with him. So I met up with him after the holidays in January, and we met about, like, once every couple weeks, because they were busy, um, they flip homes, so they were busy with all that, you know, and, and then I got, like, so emotional all of a sudden, like, erratically emotional, because I've never had an, um, at the time, an in-person, um, boyfriend like that, you know, it was always, like, trying to get somewhere, so I was hoping this would end somewhere, but it didn't, and I felt desperate at the time as a 21-year-old, <laughs> looking back, that's hysterical, I'm like, lol, you baby, such a kid, but anyway, right, um, and then by February, things started to fall turn away, and, and, like, I got so desperate, I was, like, I, I remember I was just crying and crying and crying, I was, like, why, I felt so unloved, I was, like, why does nobody love me, why does nobody like me, you know, like, I felt like that, you know, and I took it way too personally, um, and so, um, again, looking back, that was hysterical, literally hysteria, like, whoa, you know, uh, overreacting, um, way too soon, I, I definitely don't know this person nearly as much at the time and what they've been through, and later when they told me what they've been through and why they kind of shy away from partners in general, it made a lot of sense, you know, when, when you go through an, a horrible relationship and, like, they, oh, I don't even want to go into it out of respect and privacy for this person, but, wow, that horrible, you know, horrible stuff they've been through with their partner, and, um, I understood now, and then I was like, okay, I forgot about the age difference, you know, that was a huge age gap, like, oh, 25, 30 years, and at the time, I was a lot into older guys, in general, right, not anymore, but, and so, um, maybe because I'm getting older, and I'm realizing, like, uh, you know, <laughs> than younger or older, to be honest, but anyway, let's, let's continue, um, so, that already was starting off the year on a wrong foot, no, okay, um, being, feeling, like, heartbroken, they had to move back, they had to sell their house and move back, because they were, they, they were going through so much in that area, like, it was a dangerous area that they were investing in, and, oh my god, it was, I, I won't even, I, there's so many keywords I can't even say on YouTube, like, the bad, 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 bad stuff that happened in that area, and he witnessed, and he had to get the heck out, so he got out and moved back to where he, the state he's from, again, I'm trying to keep as anonymous as possible, out of respect and privacy, okay, because he's my friend, but moving on, so let me talk more about my, so that already, you know, that made the year kind of bad, I missed him a lot, and I eventually had to get over it, you know, and understand that it was not going to get anywhere, my first failed attempt after five years, oh well, you know, I just had to move on, and I thought, okay, let me not let this bring me down, so I took me a month up on March, April to kind of fully get over it, but I still couldn't get over it, if that makes sense, because we were still talking, and he was still on my mind and stuff, and maybe I was so hurt, I blocked him probably at one point, I don't even remember, again, please forgive me, because a lot of this year was so dramatic for me, that I think I had to realize, or just clocked out, you know, many times, so my memory is scattered, okay, um, <laughs> and then I thought things were going great, like, I was like, okay, you know, I let this person go, bam, YouTube has their first apocalypse, <laughs> y'all remember March, April 2017, my paycheck went down, like, 60, 70 percent, like that, overnight, I was terrified. I just happen to have some duct tape here. Some gold duct tape, because I can't seem to find regular silver duct tape. 
reached out to me when they first came out and they were like, yeah, we want you to sign on. And I'm like, okay, let me try. And then, you know, so it didn't work. Obviously I was a small YouTuber. What? I was only going to make a hundred a month. Really? Like that doesn't cut it, you know? I mean, that was the phone bill, right? I mean, for the work, it wasn't worth it. So I, I kind of just basically, um, quit and then uh, I came back uh, like five years later and then um, overnight success like when I made that video I was desperate I, I was like whatever I know I'm gonna get haters people clicking away saying I'm just asking for money but you know what you guys helped me out at the time you know it gave me the 1600 a month I needed and then the rest from whatever I was getting sponsors whatever YouTube and then so it was enough to pay all the bills at the time and then some, you know, and I got so many donations, I think got like, oh, I don't, I don't even know, like 2,000, like literally in like 12 hours, so that was very helpful, and you know, um, yeah, then I was able to get through the apocalypse and stuff, but it lasted for like months, and then I got so much hate for it, like other ASM artists, like in May, I remember, they were saying, like critiquing me, like, oh, you know, they have a patron, and then they ended up having a patron. I was 
was so busy, like, all the time, just working on these videos and doing these sponsorships and replying to offers and then talking, collabing with ASM artists. Um, I didn't have time for me, really, that whole year. I didn't have time to really heal, you know? 2016, I did, but 2017, no, I, what, meditate, what, where, who, what, no, I, I, did, I did not meditate, okay, at that time, um, and I was just constantly thinking about, like, more and more, where's the next offer opportunity, I was getting live stream, live stream companies were asking for me, they're still, you know, to this day, like, like, hey, can you come back, you know, and I just can't, I don't have the time, you know, um, intense guys media oh my god media articles like oh my god like constantly constantly and then oh i have to fight this fire because someone i um decided to ignore years ago suddenly reached out to one of my friends and talked smack about me and then you know i had to almost call the popo <laughs> so i'm like you know I, this is harassment at this point you know then there was a lady emailing me for three years straight and that whole year she kept she kept emailing me over and over and like multiple times a day on different accounts and you know, there's no true way to block an email, unfortunately, even if you do, unless you contact Google, which I finally did, and they took care of them for me. They wiped their IP address off so they could never reach me again. And so, um, you know, um, it was just not a nice year. My family was going through business troubles uh, with the restaurant that they were running at the time. Just hearing the issues on the phone, you know, hearing my f the frustration, you know, um, my family was going through, and then I um, had. Well, so I'm trying to go in order, but there's really no order. So I had then I had this friend, you know, reached out on Snapchat. It was a viewer of my videos, and um, you know, we started getting along. That we started filming videos together, and um, and then things went south with them. You know, we always had this kind of, like, disputes and stuff like that at the time. And disagreements and stuff. Um, and then they ended up blocking me. And then I was just like, okay, you know, what the heck. And that led into 2018. Um, it was right on the cusp of 2017, 2018. So we only lasted, like, two months at that year as friends. So I would always go to see them. But then, you know, there was always some drama. Then there was a friend that I had. was always asking me for money, and like, I need to pay my car bill, I need to, you know, buy this prescription, I need to fix my teeth, like, it was just always something, and, um, I just couldn't take it anymore, and then they were having a, a boyfriend that was, like, going through, like, horrible things, and he was talking to me about him, and I'm like, I'm dealing with my own stuff, and then I have to hear this every day, and it was just so heavy, and I, I could only handle so much, and I had such a bad mental health that year, I couldn't take it anymore. Like, I almost was, like, thinking, like, the worst, darkest thoughts, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I don't know how I made it through that year, honestly, but uh, the stress was not worth it. The amount of money, attention, whatever, it was not worth it, okay? Um, just looking back, even that money was isn't that good nowadays. Like, back then it was, you know, but in today's world, it's, it's not, it, it, it's okay. I guess, I don't know, it's still above average, but it, it's not, yeah, anyway, <laughs> nothing more better than now, right, it's not like, you know, so, um, and then I was planning to buy a house, because my family had to move, you know, and they had to sell the business, and oh my god, like, we all needed a place to stay, so I was like, oh my god. so now, like, thank god, I was 
seven years ago. So anyway, so now you know the story. like so bad 